It's 10 trivia questions on the late, great Olivia Newton-John, recorded live in Northeast Tennessee. This is Trivia with Buds. What it be. And welcome to another episode of the Trivia with Buds podcast. I'm your host, Ryan Buds. Thanks for checking out the show and thanks for checking out my Etsy store, etsy.com slash shop slash trivia with buds. You can get coffee mugs in there, t-shirts, sweatshirts, and my trivia book, Pop Culture Puzzles Volume 1. It's only 10 bucks for a physical printed copy. I've got about 50 of those on my shelf here in my office to ship you at my home. Or you can get the digital download instantly to print off and give to whoever you want. That's only 7 bucks. Go check out the link in the show notes wherever you're listening. Uh, for the Etsy shop, trivia books, t-shirts, and more. Speaking of something for 10 bucks, if you want to help me get a book vending machine in my daughter's school and soon to be my son's school because he starts kindergarten next year, um, this is a very cool thing that helps reward good deeds and amazing feats around the grade school and the kids get a token. They put it in the machine. They get to pick any book they want and they're all brand new you know, Harry Potter books, for example. There might be a row of Harry Potter in there or Diary of a Wimpy Kid, stuff like that, Uh, kids' books. And it's a great rewards system that I'm trying to implement at the school. I'd like to purchase this thing for spring 2023. So for $10, I will send you a custom trivia night. You pick the five rounds. I'll send you all the PowerPoints and everything you need to have fun playing trivia at home. And all those $10 purchases of that go towards this vending machine. Uh, check it out and email ryanbuds at gmail.com if that's something you want to do. Today's episode is all about Olivia Newton-John. Questions provided by CrowdPur. Check them out at crowdpur.com. If you are a trivia host and don't use it, you're missing out. It's amazing. And it's my favorite company around. And I use it for all of my stuff, virtually, in person, um, everything, hybrid events. It's great. And uh, these were questions they wrote in their big uh, approaching 1,000 different trivia rounds, 15,000 total questions built into their system, uh, CrowdPur. And this was when Olivia Newton-John passed away a couple weeks ago, and we did 15 multiple choice questions on her. So you can play along. This is sort of a rapid fire experience, so there's not a lot of time to think of the answer. I think there's 20 seconds on every uh, question as we go through these. So you can pause it or play along in that way and hope you have a good time. Before we get to that, we have the Geek Out Challenge card. For movies, name four films in which Bruce Willis appears. For television, six TV characters with superhuman strength. For literature, two titles about an artist. For music, four British bands. And for miscellaneous, two celebrities who became famous for starring on a reality show. All right, we're going to jump into this live episode recorded at Bay's Mountain Brewing Company in Kingsport, Tennessee on Olivia Newton-John right now. Here we go. All right, this is our bonus round here starting in 20 seconds. Good luck. 43 people, 44 people competing. That may be the most we've ever had here at Bay's Mountain Brewing Company. In 10 seconds, those questions will show up on your device. You're going to hit A, B, C, or D as quick as you can. The theme is Olivia Newton-John, the late, great actress, singer, performer, all-star that we just lost. Here's number one. Which of Olivia Newton-John's Grease co-stars was briefly married to her sister Rona in the early 80s? Was it John Travolta, Jeff Conaway, Lorenzo Lamas, or Eddie Deason? Number one, which of Olivia Newton-John's Grease co-stars was briefly married to her sister Rona in the early 80s? Travolta, Conaway, Lamas, or... Deason, the answer is Jeff Conaway. Jeff Conaway, 45% of you got it. Great job. Here's number two. Who wrote the title track for Olivia Newton-John's first solo album, 1971's If Not For You? Was it George Harrison, Eric Clapton, Jeff Lynne, or Bob Dylan? Who wrote the title track for Olivia Newton-John's first solo album, 1971's If Not For You? George Harrison, Eric Clapton, Jeff Lynne, Bob Dylan. Number two. (laughs) <laughs> the answer to number two is Bob Dylan. Nine people. 20% of the crowd. Oh my God, you're the worst. <laughs> number three. 
What Hollywood legend starred in his final film role opposite Olivia Newton-John in the 1980 musical fantasy Xanadu? Fred Astaire, Donald O'Connor, Dean Martin, or Gene Kelly? This is a crazy movie. I have it on VHS. Everybody should watch it. What's a VHS? <laughs> Number three. One of our underage drinkers tonight just said, what's a VHS? <laughs> the answer is Gene Kelly. 30%, 13 people. Number four, what long-running soap won Olivia Newton-John a Daytime Emmy Award for Outstanding Original Song in 1999, General Hospital, As the World Turns, All My Children, or Guiding Light? 99. Somebody just said they were born this year. You're cut off, number four. <laughs> Trying to sneak a Kool-Aid juice box in here. The answer is, As the World Turns. 28%, 12 people got it. Number five. Which of these Grease tracks was not a top five Billboard hit for Olivia Newton-John? Was it You're the One That I Want, Summer Nights, We Go Together, or Hopelessly Devoted to You? Number five. A, B, C, or D? Not a top five Olivia Newton-John hit. We Go Together. 19 people got it. Let's take a look at the score. In first place, we have somebody with the name Fantastic uh, Moorhead. Fantastic Moorhead. Joe Byler in second place. And in third place, A. Aaron. 235, 179, 169 for the scores. Let's jump into the next 10 questions. Here's number six. What celebrated pop act defeated Olivia Newton-John at the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest? Was it Mud, Brotherhood of Man, Sparks, or ABBA? What celebrated pop act defeated O and J at the 1974 Eurovision Song Contest? The answer here was ABBA. Mamma Mia, 89% got it right. 39 players, only five people missed it. Number seven. Olivia Newton-John co-founded the Australian import company Blank in the early 80s, which later evolved into a clothing line. Is it Koala Blue, Kangaroo Clatch, Wallaby Free, or Oz Imports? Hopefully you shop Australian. Number seven. Seven seconds left on number seven. Thanks for playing trivia at Bay's Mountain Brewing Company every other Wednesday here in Kingsport, Tennessee. The answer is Koala Blue. 43%. Taylor's doing so well. Number eight. Which Olivia Newton-John single did not win her a Grammy Award? Physical, Magic, Let Me Be There, or I Honestly Love You. Number eight, which Olivia Newton-John single did not win her a Grammy Award? Physical, Magic, Let Me Be There, or I Honestly Love You. Number eight. The answer is Magic. Ten people tells you here. Over the course of her decades-long career, Olivia Newton-John won four Grammy Awards for three different songs. Let Me Be There, 1973, two for I Honestly Love You, 1974, and Physical, 1982. 1980's Magic was nominated for Best Female Pop Vocal Performance, but lost to Bette Midler for The Rose. All right, number nine. Radio stations in what U.S. state banned 1981's Physical from playlists over objections to the song's provocative lyrics? Idaho, Alabama, Utah, Texas. Could be any of them. Which one banned it in 81? She talks about doing things horizontally in this song. Oh boy, pretty risque. Number nine is Utah. Utah did not like physical. And I imagine if they played WAP on the radio, the state might explode. 57%. Number 10, what 1983 comedy reunited Olivia Newton-John with her co-star from Greece, John Travolta? Was it called Blowout, Staying Alive, Two of a Kind, or Perfect? Number 10. We'll see the score after this one. Five more to go on Olivia Newton-John Tribute Trivia. This round brought to you by CrowdPur. Check out CrowdPur.com for all your trivia hosting needs. The answer is Two of a Kind, 61%, 27 people got it. And the score right now. Rihanna Hunt in first place, 523. Vol in second, 460. And Verge in third place, 460. Here comes the final five questions. Number 11. 
Olivia Newton-John's father, Brim, was an MI5 officer during World War II who helped decrypt the German blank machine code. You gotta type in the word here. Number 11, no choice is given for number 11. You gotta type in the correct word. 45 people playing here at Trivia with Buds. The answer is Enigma. 14 people got it. Somebody put like, Egg Niman. I'll give it to you. It looks like you were just typing it really quick. And, uh, imitation telegraph type bomb. And we'll do that one. Okay. I gave it to people who were close with the spelling there. Number 12. In what category did Olivia Newton John win her first Grammy Award in 1973 for Let Me Be There? Best Pop Solo Performance, Record of the Year, Best Country Female, or Best New Artist? Number 12. Let me be there. I may have mentioned clues to this one earlier. Number 12. Three, two, one, boom. Best Country Female. Five people did pick it. And that was uh, her first top 10 single in the U.S. and earned her a Grammy Award for Best Country Female. All right, number 13. What independent imprint published a comic book featuring Olivia Newton-John in 2010 to coincide with Breast Cancer Awareness Month? Was it Image Comics? Hermes Press, Blue Water Productions, or Antarctic Press. <laughs> Livy Newton John had uh, breast cancer in the early 90s, I think. Three, two, one. The answer is Blue Water Productions. 17 people. And other notable women featured in the Female Force series from Blue Water Productions, now known as Tidal Wave Productions, include Betty White, Oprah Winfrey, and Hillary Clinton. Number 14. Which of these dynastic orders was not awarded to Dame Olivia Newton-John during her lifetime? Commonwealth Order of Merit, Order of the British Empire, Order of Australia, or Japan's Order of the Rising Sun? Which one was not given to her? Number 14. We have our last question coming up after this one to see who gets three raffle tickets for prizes here and three bonus points for their team score. The answer is A, Commonwealth Order of Merit. Six people got it. And the final question, is like a final Jeopardy question. You're gonna have 20 seconds to place your wager. You can wager some, none, or all the points you've earned so far. And uh, good luck, good luck. Your hint is auction items. So how do you feel about that? And place your bet. And we have uh, a button that says submit wager. Make sure you hit submit wager. Make sure you hit submit wager. And your last question here for our Olivia Newton-John round. Three, two, one. Which shapewear brand CEO purchased Olivia Newton-John's black skin-tight pants from Greece at auction in 2019 for $162,000? Was it Rago, Spanx, Yummy, or Nyx? Number 15, four, three, two, and one. It was the CEO of Spanx. 79%. The winner of the round, Vol, V-O-L, in first place. Nice job, John, in the back of the bar. Vol, 920. Verge also had 920, but unfortunately because Vol had eight questions correct and Verge had seven questions correct, uh, Vol will win the prize. So there you go, great job, everybody. 920 was the score to beat there. Thanks for playing Olivia Newton-John Trivia. R.I.P. O.N.J. And there you have it, 15 questions on Olivia Newton-John. Hope you had a good time listening to that live episode and playing along on your own. Your fact of the day is there are more than 6,000 shipwrecks in the Great Lakes alone. 6,000 shipwrecks in the Great Lakes. Remember, get $10 Trivia Nights customized just for you. You can play them at home. I'll send you all the PowerPoints, scoreboard, answer sheets, everything you need. And all that money goes towards a book vending machine for my daughter's school in spring 2023. Email ryanbuds at gmail.com for more info. And thank you guys for listening. Thanks for telling a friend. And we'll see you next time for more trivia with Buds. Cheers.